Okay, so I needed some more SD cards because I keep running out and uh, I've just bought two new ones pretty cheaply from Amazon around about a fiver and uh, I'm going to do my usual speed test. The last one I did was 15 SD cards. So let's just add these two to the list and see how well they do. Okay, so I always run the Raspberry Pi Diagnostics three times. So let's start that up and run tests and show log and I'll save the best result of the three. Okay, so pretty consistent. Uh, I generally go for the random read speed as being the most important for an operating system. So 3127, 3142. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with the first one, uh, but they're all very similar results. Okay, so same again with the T-cell card. Ooh, that's looking pretty slow. That's only just passed on the random write speed. This is a 64 gig card. Good price for a 64 gig, but it looks like it's gonna be quite a lot slower. Okay, so that's the third test. And yeah, the random write's bad on this card. No wonder it was so cheap. Let's close all the list down, work out which one is the best. So again, I'm gonna go on random read speed. So sequential write speed uh, is definitely better on the T cell. So if you're just writing data to it, the random write speed is way, way slower than the Keoxia. And also the random read speed is quite a lot slower as well. So I would much rather run an operating system from the Keoxia but I think the T cell, given that it was only £4.99, uh, the Keoxia was only £4.94, both of them very, very well priced. And for me, a lot of the time I just use these uh, SD cards just for testing operating systems, just to check something works. So not a problem with the results. Let's just have a look at my video and that'll have all the results. And I'll put all the results in the description. And my most recent SD card speed test is this one. And let's just copy all of that into this document. And my favorite overall is the Kingston Canvas Go, uh, 64 gig. So what we're looking at, sequential write speed is, is faster than both of them by quite a margin, although that's not so important for running an operating system. Random write speed is faster. The Keoxia did well though. And then random read speed, uh, so three, so, yeah. So actually the Keoxia is gonna come out pretty well in these tests. Uh, above, the SanDisk Extreme Pro in random write speed and random read speed, uh, not as good on sequential, but as I say, sequential's less important, I think, for running an OS on. So yeah, pretty good. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.